the technical answer in bitcoins is that bitcoins is a remarkable cryptographic achievement. And the ability to create something which is not duplicable in the digital world has enormous really, value. And hard. Very hard, but it's incredibly useful for many, many computer applications. So without commenting on whether the bitcoins will get regulated, because you're the expert, not <laughs> and uh, mm, no you guys does. are the expert, not me. Bit, the Bitcoin architecture, literally the ability of, of having these ledgers that can't be replicated, is an amazing advance, and lots of people will build businesses on top of that. The Snowden revelations did a real number on our relations with a whole bunch of countries. Think about yes, Germany, they Germany, for, did. Germany, for example. And Cheryl and I have been spending lots of time dealing with the consequences and the perception of American uh, NSA activities and so forth. And this is a good example of what will happen in the future, because countries aren't going to stop spying on each other. And no one quite knows how to solve this problem. An example is a couple weeks ago, Angela Merkel indicated that she would be in favor of actually having data localization within Germany, uh, which sounds like a great political thing, but it's one, not workable, two, it breaks the internet and is a very bad idea for the German citizens. We're facing similar issues for, and for both citizens companies. all over the world. It was, it, we're facing similar issues in Brazil for both companies and so forth. So I don't think we've quite figured out all the consequences of, of that on a government sense. You ultimately have to say to citizens, we will keep your information private. You have to decide. You, you have a responsibility for how much you want to disclose, where you want to disclose it. You can't just blindly assume that it's the old model. The new model has a lot more subtlety in it. You've got to create an environment where incumbents can't block new entrants. So you have to have a place, right, some place where startups can flourish, where the regulators won't kill them. Most industries are highly regulated, and without passing judgment, the regulators and the regulatees have gotten to know each other really well. And the new startups, the incumbents, the new ideas, they're not at the table. So an awful lot of the regulations tend to favor the incumbents or the structural incumbents. You've got to fix that. Maybe there are limits to what the internet can do. Maybe there are some problems that not even the internet can At the can Computer solve. History Museum, you're willing to say such a bold statement? <laughs> I think Syria and Ukraine offer two really compelling examples of a bug that exists in our techno-optimism. Uh, if you look at Syria, you have 150,000 people